If you use audio unit plugins in your GarageBand projects, you've possibly come across errors like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can work around these errors and quickly get our projects exported and on our way. Let's go. So here's the situation, your project is finished and you're ready to export and then you get one of these annoying errors. Well, there's a way to work around it. So let's jump into GarageBand now and take a look. So here we are in GarageBand and this is the project that's causing me trouble. And the reason is I'm using the iSymphonic app and I've transferred this project between my iPhone and my iPad. And now when I go to export, I'm getting that error every time it's not letting me do it. So what is the workaround? Well, it's our old friend Merge. So yes, this is a bit of a hack, but it's a good way to get this exported without having these issues and has the added bonus if I want to share this with someone who doesn't have iSymphonic then this is another good way to do that as well so what I'm going to do is I've got the iSymphonic uh, track set here and I'm going to merge this at the moment let's just take a listen and see what it sounds like so it's just that little solo part that we have there with the strings and the horns. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap on this track. I'm going to tap the merge option here. I'm going to select just that track and hit merge. And now it's going to do its magic. It's going to duplicate the song. It's going to merge and then it's going to normalize that audio. It's going to turn it into just a WAV file that I can now play back. And then it doesn't need to do that processing with the audio unit plugin. We can either delete that track or we can just mute it so that it doesn't need to be used. So there it is. Now the thing that you'll notice here is that it's normalized the volume. So it's turned the volume up. If we just solo this track here and play it. You can hear it's very loud, so we need to turn that one straight down, so... Round about there, bring it back in the mix. And there we go, it's good to go. Now it has merged this and it has removed the old track, but don't worry, we've still got a backup version because it actually duplicates it here. You can see I've got this copy here. So if we go back into the original copy of this, there is my iSymphonic track. Now, if you wanted to keep both, so you wanted to have this and the other one, what we could do is actually duplicate this track first, then copy this piece of audio and paste it down into the second track like this. And there you go. And then when we merge this original one, we can just leave this one here, but mute it. And that way we've still got the original MIDI data. So if you want to do it that way, you can, and that will retain your original audio. All right, back in our newly created track here now, what we can now do is go to my songs. So back out to here. And now if we want to share this, this is, this is what the problem that we were having. We wanted to share this so that we can master it. So now we tap this and we can tap share and we share it as a song. So let's just do a quick test export and make sure that this is now working. We'll tap share in the top right corner. It's going to go away and ask us where we want to save it. I'm going to use open in for this example, just so that I can actually export and then save a copy to my files app so that I can use it for some other projects processes, which I'll be doing in some future videos. So this will export, we'll let this finish its exporting, it'll take about a minute to do this, and then we'll return and show you what we do next. The exporting is done, and now we can choose where we want this file to go. So we're going to tap save to files, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it just uh, right here on my iPad. It, well, it's not coming up yet, we just need to wait a moment. There we go, on my iPad and in my GarageBand folder directly. So we'll tap on add there and that's gonna add it in. If I now come over to my on my iPad location, we'll tap done on my iPad location, go to GarageBand. What we should find is that we have, there it is, the copy of that WAV file. Now we can't do anything from within GarageBand, but if we go out to our files app, we can now use this WAV file to release this song, to master this song, to do whatever we want to do. So there you go, that is a way that we can work around this this problem that we have with our audio unit plugins failing and again it means that we can share that project with other people that don't have that plugin. So there you go, whilst this doesn't fix the actual problem with the plugin itself, at least you can work around that and get your song exported so that you can be on your way. If you'd like to check out some more videos here on the channel, there's two linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.